Hey, what's going on everybody? Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the RCX-7602 Gun Cannon First Type, Iron Cavalry Squadron from Gundam The Origin. Now I gotta say, this is probably my favorite release so far from Gundam The Origin. The articulation on this kit is fantastic, it has plenty of features to give you, and the decals is, uh, they give you a lot of decals. So before we go into the kit itself, let me go over all the extra pieces. So one here, you get all these leftover PC caps, there's quite a few, and there's even pairs that you don't even use. You also have additional pieces here that goes into the backpack, right here on the A2 runner. And finally, on the D2 runner, you get this piece here, which I rem I think it goes into the arms, so it's the inside of the arms and there's nothing else on this D2 runner. And what's also pretty cool about this kit is that it also comes with a stand. Here it is. And this, this pillar piece is actually two pieces, so you'll be able to put one in the front uh, for lower posing. So this is a stand, comes with the kit, very nice. And here is all the extra decals. Now as you can see, I didn't use any of the number decals, but they do give you quite a few, numbering from one, pretty much a 12, and a smaller series as well. And you get the stripes that go along the skirt and the legs. I decided not to go with them, simply because I noticed in the other kits when I applied it, I think with the Zaku one, um, over time the the adhesive would start to peel back and it looked a little tacky so I had to cut adding on more adhesives on my own and I didn't really feel like adding on so many white um, intricate decals as well but I did use quite a few and they are on the model itself. Here is an extra hand you could build. You could swap it out for the gun hand here which we will go over in the kit and as you notice this is just a tripod finger. He doesn't have the normal human anatomy hands with the four fingers and a thumb. And finally, you also have a shoulder mounted missile launcher right here. And of course you could swap it out with the cannon in the back. And it does have some uh, mobility. You could aim it up or down, but you cannot aim it left or right. Not too far because although this is um, you could stick it in the top of the shoulder, the head gets in the way, so you can't really twist it all the way through, but you'll see. I want to put it right there. So here is the gun cannon. Uh, I added the decal here, the VB-102, added one around his cannon. I also added the bigger one, the Earth Federation Space Force, on the side of his legs here. thought that was nice. And of course, I got a shield VB-102 per the instructions and an additional uh, Space Force Federation decal right there. So his head, he comes with a very small sticker. It's also part of the decal sheet for the center. You also have a small red one indicating underneath his cannons, underneath his machine gun cannons in his head right there. And right there, he has two antennas that are also separate pieces. The visor is a, uh, is a transparent piece, and it's cool because he has a little cap. On his right shoulder, he has, I think this is called a Vulcan gun, but some sort of machine gun. And obviously, you have the recoilless cannon, which I thought was pretty interesting because you notice it's the details on here. It goes in and out, so it helps with the extension and stabilization. Now, in order to swap this out with the cannon, or excuse me, with the missile launcher, you just pull it out, but here is the cannon. Comes in several pieces. This gun is pretty cool that has this kind of hydraulic system support system that you could also build into it. And then you would just grab your missile launcher here, and right in there, you just poke it on in. Poke it on in. I want to be careful. I'm a little bit phobic that I'm going to force it in too hard and might break his antenna. But this is it. There he goes, and again, you could twist it not too far to the right because of the head and the collar also gets in the way, so really just up and down movement. Here is the chest, and unlike some of the RX-78 Gunpla out there, this is actually an internal system, the vents, so it's underneath the blue piece, 
which is pretty cool. His back piece, these are the two pieces that I mentioned that are also extra pieces on the A2 runner. And you get a thruster right there. I added a small decal right there per the instructions. Um, I don't know, adding a little bit too many decals, adding too many decals in a form of far distance, you could tell that it gives off some sort of like reflective, I don't know, like right here, if you were able to see that on your screen, you'd be able to see that this is a decal, which is why I prefer dry decals. If that was an option, that'd be great. Yep, this is his backpack system, and these two pieces here are not, they, they are removable, but there's nothing underneath, so there's not any like, intrinsic internal system. Looking at his arms, he has a ball joint for both his arms, and they come out like this right here, so they do offer some quite stretching mobility, because when you put it back in, he's able to go a little bit tad farther than his counterparts. He has a shield for his left arm, and there it is, and this, this this little gap right here would go into the end of his arm, and then his hand would connect into the uh, into this holster. This is pretty much four pieces: the shield. So you have the one for the arm, one for the hand, and it sort of sucks because it's immobile, so you can't slide it up or down like some other shields. And then you have the white frame, and then you have the blue frame. And on the corners, I added little red stickers. It's pretty nice. The same thing goes with the right hand. Uh, look at his machine gun. It's sort of like the inverse FAMAS where the clip is upwards. And again, you connect it to the hand and then to the arm. So if I were to take it out, it actually comes with the hand. So you have to build the hand around it. Uh oh. Well, yeah, so this is will be on the arm, but let's first go over the uh, the weapon system. So this is the weapon system. It's pretty much three pieces. You got the muzzle, you got the left side, and then you got the right side. And yes, there are decals that could go on this. I just chose not to put it in. And then you build the arm around the trigger handle. And you would place it into the system right here. But of course, that piece at the very end foil out, so I think that's a good opportunity. So here you see the internal skeleton system, and you just pop this piece right back in as such. And just like the shield, where you have the holster for the arm, you have this, and you just match it, and you sort of just pop it up in there, pop it up in there. And of course, you could put the hand back in, and the holster rests right on top. Uh, trying to do it looking through the camera. Boom. So there it is. And yes, it could twist and turn, so if you wanted to, you could shoot it upside down gangster style. Awesome. And the waist. This is what's pretty cool about these new kits that are coming out from Bandai. The waist is very, very mobile. He could lean, like lean and lean. So I want to show you what it really looks like, the reason why his waist is able to lean left and lean to the right is because you have a ball system at the very front underneath his waist, right there, that connects to the bottom portion of his waist and you just pop it in there on the side, which really gives him a far mobility because it's pretty much like on a swivel such as this, right? So swivel left and swivel right. And it's very easy to put it back in. So again, there's the ball joint. Here it is. You just pop it in and boom, that's it. Nothing spectacular about the uh, the skirt system, you just have the two skirts on the side and you have the skirt on the front and yes they do move. So boom, here he is flashing you, and his side skirt there, and his back skirt is immobile. And the same thing with the arms, this joint should be a ball joint, uh, let me confirm that. No, so it is not a ball joint, I am embarrassed. So really it's just a single spike joints, you just put it in there and there it goes. The legs are very articulate, at least I find it to be so because you have these little nubs all up in there, little markings that just makes it the kit stand out overall. And even the kneecaps, look at look at the intricate knees system here. Look how far this guy's knee pretty much go. It's pretty cool. And it's for both legs. Of course you get the standard kneecaps, same that matches the 
the elbows as well. And bottom of the feet, you can add red little decals at the bottom. And the feet system, it's only one, it's like one piece here, but still, it could still go all the way up with the heels as such. And here's the back when you put the heels all the way down and toes all the way up. It's because it is actually not connected from the top, it's actually connected to the front of the feet as such. So you could go all the way up, all the way down. And then of course you have the ball joint that you can maneuver his ankle left and right so he doesn't twist it. Put it back in. As such. There you go. So overall this kit I think was around 15 bucks on Amazon so I had to jump at the chance to get it. I like this kit particularly because it doesn't try to the box art isn't misleading, right? Everything you see in the box art is what you get, right? You get the machine gun, you get the cool little visors, you get the cannon, or you get the missile launchers. Uh, no, that's a cannon too. You get the missile launchers here, it, and you get the decals all around his body. So really, what you see is what you get. Fantastic features, and you get your own stand. Highly recommend it, guys. It won't take you that long to build. And I really enjoy the colors too. I think dark blue colors are probably my favorite at this point, uh, simply because it doesn't look like it requires any painting. One downside is that if you follow the instructions and add all the decals, again, because these are not dry decals, they're just adhesive decals, you'd be able to see at a very far distance, it'll look like chicken pox because of the light glare through it. Overall, I'm very happy with this kit. I highly recommend it if you're looking to get it. And yeah, comes with a ton of weapon systems. So if you have any questions or comments, post them down in the section below and I'll get right to them. Other than that, I appreciate you all for watching and keep your eyes out for the next unboxing video. Peace out guys.